What's good with YouTube? Back with another review. And make sure y'all like, y'all comment, y'all share, y'all subscribe, man. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to do music reviews, but I'm also trying to do like, you know, the viral stuff that just and just get my insight on stuff because the way they see it, they ain't gonna see it how I see it, you know. And you might see it like me, or you might not see it like me, you know. So video just came out that it's the I don't know if they're a couple or not, but it's these people, KD running out. And some fans call him a B, and he go address him. A lot of people be like, oh, you making all this money, you should be able to take this from the fans, and blah, blah, blah. But you got to understand, some people don't want to be disrespected by nobody. Like, it don't matter who it is. And the fans just know, like, oh, I'm safe right here, so I feel like I can say anything I want to say. So the fans need to calm down because the fans be doing way too much. Like, sometimes the basketball players do be oversensitive but you can't tell somebody how to react. You know, they call this man a B. Everybody don't play like that. I watched my uncle, well, I didn't watch, but my uncle punched his brother in the face because he called him a B and he was just playing. He was like, no, I'm, I'm just playing. He, I don't play like that in soccer. Everybody don't play like that. Didn't him and Draymond get into it about the same thing? You feel me? Everybody don't play like that. You know, but. We're gonna get into this video and then we're gonna assess what really happened. Yeah, if you listen real close at the very beginning, you can hear it. Look, you scream, you call him a B. Now he come over there, you trying to shake his hand, and you act like you happy to see him. Like, and that's what I mean by fans be doing too much. Like, you do all this just to, you want to disrespect somebody just to get their attention and say, oh, I'm a huge fan. That's not how that works, bro. That's not how that works. Why would you call this man a B? And then he come over there, you want to shake his hand. Makes no sense at all. Look, Katie left her hanging. I would have left her ass hanging too. Now you begging for a handshake. I'm not shaking your hand. You just, I'm running out. I'm getting ready for a game and you want to holla, bitch. Now I come over there and you want to shake my hand. I'm not shaking your fucking hand. Begging for the handshake. Oh, did this man say I own the podcast? You own a podcast, so you really doing all this trolling just for some clout. That's what that is, bro. They do anything for clout. And KD, guess what happened? You just gave these folks all the damn clout they wanted, bro. So guess what the whole world finna do? The whole world finna go look them up. You know they're going to tell their story about what happened. You feel me? You got to... Sometimes you never know who the fan is. That's why you don't address the fans, man. You let them say whatever they want to say. Some fans want the interaction. Look, I be on TikTok. People troll me all the time. People say the most disrespectful stuff. Then when I respond to them, they be like, Oh, no, I was just playing, Unc. I'm a fan. I just wanted the video. But they'll say the most disrespectful stuff. That ain't how life works. That ain't how life, you can't just say disrespectful stuff to people and then be like, oh, I was just playing. Life don't work like that. That is not how this shit work. He said, don't act like a little kid, you a grown up. Don't act like a little kid. You a grown up. Okay. I, I feel that, KD. Sometimes you got to chill, my boy. I, I feel she called you a bitch. 
I understand don't nobody play like that, especially from fans that you only saying this shit because you feel like you safe. You feel like I ain't going to say nothing. I can't do nothing to you. That's the, because we, if we was walking on the street, you wouldn't say that to me. If we were standing in the same grocery store, you wouldn't say that shit to me. And that's how the athletes be feeling. So that's why the athletes respond to them because people say, think they can just say anything and ain't nothing going to happen. That's exactly why I respond to the trolls because they think they can just get their little blows off and and ain't nobody going to say nothing to them. I, I, I'm going to respond. You feel me? I'm going to respond. I'm going to let you know. So I feel KD on that side, but at the same time, they did all that shit for clout and you just gave them all the clout they wanted. You feel me? You should just let it let it fall on deaf ears and ignore them because, you know, so when you that big, they do this shit for clout, bro. They just want their 15 minutes of fame because you've you been having your 15 years of fame, you know? That's all it is, man. You're giving people unnecessary clout, man. And fans, you got to stop this stupid shit, bro. Just because you in the stands and you feel like can't nobody do nothing to you and you safe, like, why do you want to just disrespect somebody like that? Well, I, I, I know why. Because <laughs> you a bitch. That's why. Because you know ain't nobody going to do nothing to you. You don't disrespect people that are, that put their hands on you. You want to disrespect people in a safe space where you think you cool and you know ain't nobody going to do nothing to your ass. I want you to keep that same energy with the people on the streets, with your boss, with the employees, all that shit. All that shit, because I know you weak as hell in real life, man. People that do that type of shit be weak as fuck, bro. For real. But you know me. I'm all angles, man. I understand why they did that shit. Instant clout, just like that. Overnight clout. They going viral for disrespecting KD. Now they got to do go make a couple podcasts. Boom. I, I understand it from their side. I also understand it from KD's side. You can't just say anything to me and think I'm going to let that shit slide. I don't care where we at. I, might, I can't do nothing to you, but I'm going to address this shit. Because you didn't mean that, so stop playing with me like that. I feel it. I feel both sides. But the fan... The shit work, but you know what I'm saying? We respect the grind. That you you put in the cheat code. We don't we don't respect the cheat code. You feel me? I don't like that. I don't like that shit. Fans sit down, shut up, and enjoy the fucking game. Why would you sit that close to the court to disrespect somebody? Sit that close to the court to be ignorant. That shit makes no sense. Makes no sense, man. Yeah, man. It's Prince Dreader President from our angle podcast. And until next time, until next review, peace.